Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Between 1992 and 2002, Indian Army had procured nearly 3000 Russian laser guided artillery shell called Krasnopol meant for use by 155 mm Bofors gun. But the performance of these artilleries were suboptimal particularly in high altitude areas. In 2019, the army had inducted Excalibur artillery ammunition from United States for its 155 mm howitzers. On October 20th, 2019, Indian Army for the first time used 155 mm M982 Excalibur artillery rounds against Pakistani positions and terrorist launch pads across line of control. 6 to 10 Pakistani soldiers were killed and 3 terror camps were destroyed and fourth camp was damaged similar number of terrorists have also been killed the excalibur rounds can be used in m777 howitzers as well as k9 vajra and can reach up to a distance of 57 kilometers the artillery shell uses gps guidance for accuracy and guidance the army also has precision guidance kit in its inventory which is used with regular ammunition of conventional artillery guns to strike a target with higher precision in september 2021 defense equation council has given the acceptance of necessity for rupees 4962 crore for the procurement of terminally guided munition or tgm and hepf or rha rocket ammunition under by indian category giving a boost to indigenous design and development of ammunitions In November 2021, Army has sought invitation for expression of interest for the procurement of 1,966 rounds of 155 mm terminally guided munition under Make Two category of DAP 2020. The procurement was to be happen in two phases. In phase one, it was going to be prototype development phase in which 25 rounds of the TGM along with four fire control systems were sought. In phase 2 or procurement stage 1966 rounds of TGM were to be delivered at a rate of 197 TGM per year for next 10 years. It also includes 170 fire control system, 87 projectile simulator and 87 sectionized projectile. Now recently that is on 4th November army has approved the 155 mm TGM project. The project sanction order has been issued to six developing agencies for development of 155 mm TGM under Make Two scheme. Army has planned to procure approximately 2000 rounds of these 155 mm TGM. So now we will look into this TGM capabilities and why they are so important. The terminally guided munition has capability to hit a target with higher precision and lesser collateral damage than regular munition. As the name suggests, these munitions are guided at the terminal stage or last stage while they are very close to the target for the strike with pinpoint accuracy. These munitions typically use radio signals from global positioning system GPS or laser guidance and inertial navigation system using gyroscopes to improve the weapon's accuracy to reportedly less than 3 meters. The proliferation of anti-access area denial system is likely to increase the operational utility of these kind of precision guided munitions. These TGMs typically have a seeker to capture the reflected or emitted energy of target which has been illuminated by an external laser designator which could be either a ground or aerial platform such as UAVs. These munitions are going to be fired from 155 mm gun units of Indian Army using more than one technique for guidance with minimum human interference. The munition will be compatible with all in service 155 mm gun of 39, 45, 52 caliber gun system. The primary mode of guidance will be through jam resistance internal GPS or IRNSS or GLONASS receiver. The secondary mode of guidance in addition to the primary mode may be through MMW or laser or IR wherein the designator will also be provided along with munition system 
capable of illuminating target which can either operate from a ground based operational post or air observation post from a helicopter or an rpa the munition will be capable of receiving these target illuminating signals and then home on to the target the munition will be resistant to jamming it will have an inbuilt electronic countermeasure which will jam the radio frequency generating device along its trajectory the munition will have circular error probability of less than 10 meters for all ranges while being guided in any terrain that is plain semi desert deserts mountain and high altitude these tgms are going to be different from the precision guided kits the far and forget x caliber munition bought by army after the balakot strike in february army has fast tracked the procurement of 155 mm x caliber rounds from us and it has inducted them in 2019 as we discussed before the tgms have lot of advantage over conventional ammunition though these ammunition seems to be costly procurement in short term but in long term they turn out to be cost effective a tgm with its precision strike capability will be able to inflict much damage with fewer rounds as against the regular ammunition which would require much more rounds this also reduces the load on gun barrel and in turn reduces the maintenance cost of the gun indian adversaries like china and pakistan have developed sophisticated area defense and surveillance that increases the risk of indian forces entering and operating in these regions using advanced guidance system pgms can be launched at longer ranges against the high value targets with assured precision and lethality for mission accomplishment and minimum collateral damage this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector